welcome back to my channel welcome if you're brand new and I know I did not put out a video last Tuesday so I did want to tell you that I um, just got back from vacation I went to New York and uh, Florida for two weeks and I had a great time and I wanted to um, share a couple of things I picked up in Florida at Dollar Tree actually nothing really new sorry about the squeaky chair but uh, Nonetheless, I grabbed a couple of things and I did want to share those. Dollar Trees over there uh, where we were at in the Keys did not have a whole lot of new stuff. It seemed like they were not really um, carrying any fall items at all. So maybe it's just because it's like island weather. They are not uh, so quick to get it on their shelves. But anyhow, I just wanted to uh, share that with you and let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to share with you is this Flamingo. I did not see this at Dollar Tree over in my neighborhood, but picked it up in Florida. How appropriate um, because Flamingos are really big. Uh, we were in the northwestern part of Florida near uh, Sarasota in, the, in Siesta Key and Longboat Key, Anna Maria Islands. And I found this really cute flamingo you guys and so I grabbed that and it lights up really nicely I also picked up a bunch of toys that I couldn't find at my Dollar Tree these are the masters of the universe toys and I got every single one of them I believe here's three and for any like 80s, 90s kids, these would probably be really special. Whoops. I knew that was gonna happen. So we have those ones and two more. So I grabbed those for my son because he loves Masters of the Universe. So there's those and I also found this Overwatch uh, collector's car and it's got D.Va on it and I know a person who is uh, absolutely obsessed with this character so I'm going to be passing that on to her. She likes to game and D.Va is her girl. So there's that. I also picked up a few more. Uh, these weren't from Florida, but I picked up a few more of these Lego uh, containers, storage containers. And I grabbed the blue top with the red. They also come with a red top and a blue bottom, but um, I know I shared these in my last video. And inside they have, let me make sure I have it the right way. They have uh, a separated compartment where you can separate the different colors or the different types of Legos that you're storing. So those ones are for my sis. And then I grabbed some of these, what do they call these? Desktop games. Okay, yes. So this is desktop ping pong. Haven't tried it out, but Savannah and I want to try this one. It looks fun. And I, I did open it up a little bit and look at it. I'll show you a couple of items out of it. Here's the net. And it seems pretty well made. And then you have your little ping pong paddle, which is super cute and also well made. And let's see what the ball looks like. Here's the ball. So um, it has all these little um, things so that you can set it up. And I believe there's like a suction cup thing or something in here. Yep, so you can stick it to the table. So grab those. I think the kiddos or even the adults could have a lot of fun with that. So there's the ping pong. And you know, sometimes we overlook these really cool items. And so I, I wanted to grab them and see how they were. And then this one is desktop horseshoes. Um, I'm not going to take them all out because I don't want to make this video too long. But it feels really heavy and it looks like it could be a lot of fun. So. Do I have this upside down? No, I don't. Okay, includes base, horseshoes, and a bag of sand. Nice. 
And then lastly, um, there was another one. There's tabletop hockey and all these other ones, but I got the desktop arcade ball. And you guys probably know that arcade game. That one's pretty famous. So grab that one too. And these are gonna be a lot of fun to mess around with. All right, so moving on, uh, let me show you the book that we found, Savannah found. Um, it is, um, it says, An Untold Story of Pride and Prejudice, Mary B. So this uh, retailed for $27, probably at Barnes and Noble. And uh, Savannah is an avid reader, so she wanted to grab this book. So be on the lookout for that one. And, oh, this, I'm gonna have to like do something with this bar still. It's so squeaky. Maybe some WD-40, that usually works. I found these really cute frames uh, in Florida. And I think I found them in Sarasota, but they had Belle, not Belle, I'm sorry, the princesses. I thought those were really cute. Anytime I see Disney items, I do try to pick those up. So there's that one, and then there is Frozen. Sorry, this one's really reflecting a lot, you guys. They have like a prismatic kind of thing going on, so. Um, and then this one is the um, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Thought that one was really cute, too. And uh, I found these frames, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do with these. Let me go here. And, well, let's wait on those frames for a sec. I want to share this bag since we're on Disney. I found this really cute tote bag with Mickey and Minnie. That looks like they are enjoying some pie on a construction site. <laughs> Super cute, you guys. So you can see that Mickey's sitting on the scaffold. He's got a like a berry pie in his hand and a soda or water bottle with his lunch bag hanging below. And Minnie's sitting there uh, with him. So grab that one if you see it. I always pick up the tote bags because I just love tote bags. I also picked up these sink uh, strainers. I thought they were really pretty. This one has pineapples and palm trees on it. And I do like to change out my sink strainers, but they do tend to get, I don't know, discolored very easily. I bought a pig one a while back at Home Goods, and that one is, it's time for that one to go. And this one has popsicles on it. So I thought those were really cute. And these were near, like, you know, where they have all the, like, kind of, uh, tweener, like, fun stuff. They were hanging there, so I, I'm not sure why they weren't in the kitchen or, you know, home good section, but that's where I found them. So be on the lookout for those. Um, I found, finally, I've been looking for these bottles for the longest time, and it says sand from my favorite my favorite beach and i got one in navy and one in this more sky blue and they are glass and they have a cork in the top and this little uh jute twine at the top and i thought these were extra cute i recently did pick up sand from siesta key beach and i kind of made my own little container because they had some in the gift shops there and then i added some stickers to that but these will be nice for future future trips, you know, of sand. And actually one of these is for my sister. So I got those and I thought this was adorable. It says salt, salt in the air, sand in my hair. And I love the colors in this and I don't think I would do anything at all to this, but it is for Savannah and she really liked it. So she's gonna take it home. Love these pastels. So pretty. So I got that. And then, you know, I was collecting those little planters for succulents and I found the fox. And the fox's name is 
Flora, and yes, Dollar Tree did do this one last season, along with like a hedgehog and some other ones, if I remember right, but I didn't get him last year, so I found him, one only, or her, found her, because her name is Flora, right, Flora, yes, um, so I went ahead and picked that up to go with my fall decor, so you know keep your eye out for these and oh it does show the other ones here on the side looks like you've got like a turtle and a little deer and an elephant so i'll probably be trying to find the rest of them now that i've got this one okay now this was the section i was trying to get to i found a ton of greeting cards i'm not going to go through all of these personal ones but i got a stack of them for family members bunch and these were 50 cents a piece so they were two for a dollar so yeah there's a whole bunch here and I just keep stocking up on these so that I have cards when I need them now here was my idea they have these blank cards and they have them in all different styles but I picked up some of these ones that had uh, like this one that looks like a scene from like a Parisian little village or something and I thought these would go super cute inside of some frames. This one has the matting in it. I'm not particularly crazy about the silver, but I did pick one of those up anyways. And I also picked up this one with the wood frame. Sorry about that. So you can pop these little cards right in there and you instantly have a cute little photo. You could do a um, I don't even know what the word is for it, but you could just do a collection of these little pictures in these frames on the wall. Do like a gallery display. Now let me show you the, the rest of the cards I picked up because there's a whole bunch of them. Here's one. This one looks like it's like uh, Venice, Italy. It looks like that to me. It may not be. It could be any European city. But I thought it was really cute. So I got that one. And then if you want to go with more of a tropical vibe, I grab this one. And then when you put this one in the frame, of course, then you've got a different, um, you've got a horizontal picture. And I'm gonna look for some more frames too because I wanna find some different styles. And then there's this one of the beach chairs. That's classic. Love that. And that one would go well with the last one I just showed you of the beach sunset. Now, if you have like a little bar area or something that you, or a wet bar, this would be really cute framed, this martini. And these are blank on the inside, so they can also be used as a greeting card if you like. They are by Heartline, and that is one of uh, Hallmark's, uh, Hallmark Company's lines of cards that they carry at Dollar Tree. Now, I don't think it's exclusive to Dollar Tree, but this would go really super cute in a little collection for your closet, dressing area, whatever it is, or maybe even the bathroom, or anywhere. Got the little um, bathing suit or bikini swimsuit collection was super cute, and I love the shoes. So, try and look for those because I think but it's a really cute idea. And then in like sort of office supply, stationery, I grabbed these, um, I don't know what you call these, um, list pad, list pad, something, booklet, sorry. I don't have my glasses on. And then it says my genius ideas, big ideas, and then down here, unforgettable, sorry, but just in case. And on the front, this one says, genius ideas inside, 100% brilliant, mind-blowing. So I like this. This is good, especially like for some of my ideas I come up with for new videos and or my dance business. This one says, make today great. And there were two more. I didn't, I didn't pick those up. And then you've got um, Crushed It list and then a Monday through uh, Friday area to write in what you need to do. So I really like that one. So
so noisy around here today. I grabbed some of this um, super hold tape because you can never have too much tape, especially with the holidays coming up. I'm going to start stocking up. I do already have a lot, but it always seems like I misplace it and can't find it. Dollar Tree is carrying these in their school supplies, these post-it notes. So it's a double pack for a dollar, which is amazing because I know when I go to Staples, post-its are so expensive. I grabbed another uh, sunglass or eyeglass case, whatever you want to call it, but I have pink and blue of this, and I, I love these. They really do protect your glasses nicely, and they're bright so you can see them right away in your purse. Um, and it's more cleaning supplies. As you guys probably know, there's been an uptick in uh, COVID cases, and so I do own a dance studio and am having to do a lot of cleaning between classes, so grabbing some more cleaners just in case. Uh, we never know when people are gonna start hoarding again and then we won't be able to find it. So I do have a good supply, but I'm gonna continue every time I see to pick up. And this one actually says, I don't know if this claim is valid, but it says it kills COVID. So I've got this one, it smells really good. It's a nice lavender scent. Some more of this um, hand sanitizer in the lavender and that was the only one they had no actually they had the lemon but the lemon doesn't smell but my littles love to put these on instead of my hand sanitizing station because they don't like the smell of that hand sanitizer and then always picking up these ready wipes which are identical to handy wipes and you guys that is it for today thanks so much for uh viewing and watching my videos i appreciate so much when you do and I do hope that I will be able to get my organization video out in this next week. All right, you guys, I'll see you the next time. And until then, stay hopeful, stay positive, and above all, always stay kind. Bye, you guys.